So why doesn't my shield work? All right, how are you all doing this fine evening or morning? What you actually see here is the game we're going to be playing today. It's Melty Blood. I have no idea which version it is. There's a lot of versions of this game. They they made this game for like 10 years. Melty Blood, actress again, current code? I think I may have missed part of the name. So anyone who's not familiar with this game, join the club. If you're interested in learning about this game, please join me now. And let's be beginners together. And the main reason that we're getting into Melty Blood is one, because a new Melty Blood game is coming out 30th of September. Only a few months away from now, but we're gonna get a new, <laughs> can you believe it? A new, brand, a brand new fighting game from French Bread, which is the developer of obviously Melty Blood, but also Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax and Undernight in Birth, and that is the main game. Undernight is the main game that I was playing most of the end of last year and, you know, the start of this year as well. From what I've seen so far, like, from what I've tested when I was just testing the game earlier, it feels actually kind of close to playing Undernight in Birth. And one of the main things that's big and different in French bread games versus a lot of other games is the ability to use reverse beat. You can, like, chain from big, slow, heavy attacks into light and medium attacks. I mean, it, I think there are probably other games that do it, but it's it's a big French bread thing, and that's one of the big things that makes it feel... It kind of feels like Undernight when you're playing this game. One of the main things that's in this game, I wonder if they've toned down it for the new game, which is the ability to jump, jump, and then dash. So you could, in, in Melty Blood, you can obviously jump cancel, which is, you know, you, you press your buttons and then you jump up into the sky, but also the ability to jump, jump again and then do a dash as well. And that that allows the game to be very, very, very aerial born. This doesn't so much have the, the super dash element of Dragon Ball, but you are in the sky a lot from the few videos that I've actually watched on YouTube about it. Again, like I've mentioned, I don't have a huge amount of time to do my research and learn as much as I want to about the game, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from streaming it and learning it now because let's see how much we can learn and then we'll have a good idea of how it compares when the new Melty Blood comes out, type Lumina. Anyway, enough chatter. Let's get into some Melty Blood actress again, current code. All right, so this is the character that I have picked, so anyone who's interested to know. And I am playing on this controller today. Left, down, right, jump. The way I've set it up is light attack, medium attack, heavy attack, and then I think this is the shield button. <laughs> I propose any time Nihongo does something cool from now on, we say Nihongo Jozu. <laughs> I've never heard that one. That's good. A, B, C. The combo that I was doing was A, B, 2A, 2B. So 2B is two hits, 3B is two hits, and then I was doing 2C, 5C to launch them in the sky. So if you want to do what's common in a lot of anime fighting games, you want to get them into the sky so you can do a big air combo. Let me explain what I understand of this game. You want to do... you want to do a launcher. You want to hit them in the sky a few times. Once you get to the end of the combo, you want to throw them. Launch, combo, then forward A, B, chuck them on the ground, and then I guess you've got a bit of pressure. You've got enough time to continue pressuring them with something else as well. Another thing that I, I read, or rather heard on the YouTube videos that I watched, was that of course your character does matter, but like apparently in this game you're you're you get better at the game by understanding the game mechanics, like the basic game systems, and that's like the most important part. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna find a character who can launch, jump cancel, do a throw, and then move move in for some pressure, and that's what I'm gonna do in general. The timing is so different to strive for these jump cancels. When I first got into games like Cross Tag and all that in 2018, that was well, this is one of the first things that got me really confused. It's like, depending on the game, when you do a jump cancel, you like do the jump to cancel the previous move, and then you wait a bit before you press an air button. But in this game, you basic you're like practically pressing the attack as soon as you do the jump cancel, and that that really threw me as a, as a beginner. Ah, it was like a mile away. So that's the most damage I could I could get to my myself to do. That was four, three, 
4257. Air throw does more damage and you can do 236B after for pressure if you think they won't block or punish. But I can do the air throw as well as the 22B, so what is the what is the reason for not doing the 22B as well? If you do 22B, it's not a hard knockdown. Ah ha ha! Sick, okay, so we got some some hardcore information now. Thank you. But I'm, I'm curious about how these gauges work. So the reason I've chosen what's called Crescent Moon Style is because it's one of the... There's three modes, there's like three grooves in this game. These This, this groove is one of the ones that allows you to do reverse beat. And obviously recovering from an A button is going to be much faster than recovering from a C button. If you go to the character select, I actually didn't know this until last week when I tried it, because I, I, or I'd just basically forgotten, but there's a bunch of characters in this game which are robots or maids, right? So here's one of them, Kohaku, right? So this character is a maid with a broom. This is a maid without a broom. And then there's one that's both of them. There's the maid without the broom and the maid with the broom. And I was like, Maybe the other person is just there for animations and uh, doing certain moves, right? So you're like the girl without the, the broom, but I think if you press down, down, D... Tag team! You get to be like the other character! How absolutely bonkers is that? So this is the reason I chose not to be one of these robo maids or maid characters, is because I don't understand how I would use this dash. This looks really confusing to me. <laughs> I know that I can use the gauge to do supers. But I also know you can do this. You can like press A, B, C and heat. For C moon, you have shield, EX shield, EX guard, AKA just block. Oh yeah, all right, so I can block at just the right moment, but I've also got this. I'm not sure I have a very good idea of what I can do after shield. That worked. What can I actually do after that? After an EX shield, you can do five A after normal. After normal shield, you can do 2-2-A. EX shield is like a parry. Normal shield is if you hold sh <laughs> Thank you so much. I was like, what's the difference between... Like, the timing seems really, really tight. You just hold down the button. Sweet. Okay, that makes more sense. Thank you. Wow, that's so much easier. Gotcha. Okay. Sick! Oh, there's down sh Oh, interesting. So you can down shield and stand shield. Shield bunkering is like an alpha counter. Ah. When you're blocking, use 2 on 4 shield. Ah, okay, so like guard threats. Eventually, we're going to look back on these days and we're going to go, ah, uh, do you remember when we had no idea how to play the game? Pyra, are you interested in playing a match right now? Okay, so I'm in network mode and I've done create room. Wow, we are playing online delay multi -blood. I'm ready. Oh, it's getting... Can you feel the delay? Feel the delay. Okay, this is... It's okay. Ouch! I tried to, I tried to fault this defense. What was that? Akuma! Reduce. What does reduce mean? Fail. No push block, but instant block does push them away. Okay, gotcha. Help! I, was, I thought you were, I thought it was going to be a cross-up. I was blocking in the wrong direction. You know, this is going to sound crazy, but it it doesn't feel it doesn't feel much worse than than Undernight Online. <laughs> For what it's worth, reduce is not in the new game. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, but I still want to learn how to play this this game because it's just kind of got a lot of charm to it. Ah! Is that an overhead? I got a combo! Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Imagine if... You know, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually kind of glad that the, there's delay in the game right now because otherwise I wouldn't actually see what was going to happen. 500 <laughs> IQ training with this. That's right using netcode to uh, to my advantage oh 
Oh, that's right. You can do follow-ups. I forgot the 2 on 4 b What the heck? I can't see where you are. That was not meant to be a shield, but oh well. I got lucky. Help! I mash through when I wake up because I'm a genius. Hello! Hello! Oh my goodness, it's happening now! See, you can only do that in delay netcode. <laughs> this connection is respectable! Help me! You know I need somebody! Button box or stick today. We're playing on the snack box micro. Wow, OTG. No, I shouldn't have turned the third one, should I? Ow, that's a super. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Uh oh, it has begun. I'm really excited about Type Limiter. I, I'm actually, I mean, obviously I'm, ex I'm excited, but I haven't even been checking the, the trailers, but... What? Help, 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 help! Oh my goodness! So why doesn't my shield work? What is it? What is with the... Oh no! Ah, oh, the other thing that's annoying is you have to re-input the direction when you do a jump, a second jump in the air. So if you are a hitbox or a button box player or an all button box, an all button controller player, something that's confusing is when you do a second jump, you've got to input the direction twice. No, not like this! Oh, interesting. Are there like option selects where you you get a throw tech, but also you get a, a ex guard? That's interesting because that's what I just got by accident. Well, I'm so glad to hear hear that there's so many multi blood players out there who are interested in playing games. This is great. This is this is very promising. It means that in future streams we'll still have people to play matches with if you if you're interested in coming back. Okay. I should have been blocking. Why didn't I block? I was trying to do a button. Oh! Should have pressed the 5A instead of her. <laughs> so frantic! Don't know where you are on the screen. Flash kick super wake up! Got a round! Woo! Finally! Hey, this song is really good, isn't it? I didn't even I've never even seen the stage before today. Let's just finish off with a super. Maybe it does more damage. Help! Help! Oh! Hey! Ah! Ah! It, it feels so much like Undernight, it's crazy. Oh no, I'm not dead, am I? That hitbox, please! I was reading the... There's a manga version of the tutorial for Arcana Heart. Found that online, that was cool. That was on the Mizumi wiki. So I was trying to learn how to play Arcana Heart. I was like, man, every every fighting game should have... should have a manga version of their tutorial. I would totally read that. I would totally read it for Melty Blood, for sure. Ah! It's really cool because it, it really reminds me a lot of Street Fighter, how they're like dancing backwards and forwards, but you're doing it in the sky. 
There's like people jumping up in the air, not jumping. Like it's like forward jump, backward jump, forward jump, backward jump. I, I find that just really fascinating. Of course, you have to actually block, which is not what I was doing. <laughs> wow. Ow. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa! It went like ultra pixely graphics. Can you not shield that? Why didn't I do down shield? Ah. That was exciting. You know, the first time you learn how to, sh how to shield an Undernight, actually. It, oh yeah, yeah it's actually quite a useful tool. Whew. What? I should have mashed five A. I should have mashed five A. This is this is the most excited I've been since I discovered Undernight in Birth because I feel like games just have a huge amount of hype behind them because of some brand new game system or a returning character that everyone recognizes from something before, but with French bread games like Undernight in Birth and Melty Blood, I just feel like the game itself is the reason I'm so excited. It's just, it feels so fluid to press these buttons. Like I've got this website up for the new version of the game coming out in a couple months, but this is what we were playing today. Melty Blood, actress again, current code. I think anyone, if you've never tried a French bread game like Undernight in Birth, Den Geki Bunko Fighting Climax, or Melty Blood, or if you're looking forward to the new Melty Blood, definitely check out one of those three games or check out this one, Melty Type Lumina, when it comes out in a couple months because there's something, I mean, I haven't obviously played Type Lumina so I know nothing about it, but of the games that I just mentioned, the three games that I just mentioned, it's just the gameplay. It's the way that it feels when you press those buttons in the rhythm that you press to do these combos that just feels so good. I think maybe it's also to do with the fact that these games rely so- I don't know if they rely heavily on them, but they have a- they lean towards delaying buttons. So it- it, it like feels like jazz just by pressing buttons because you're like delaying your buttons trying to frame trap each other and all that. Melty's on sale for $5 through the Fanatical website. Well there you go. Now's your chance to jump in on Melty Blood. And as you saw on this stream, like I didn't know who was going to play with us, but in the end we had too many people coming in to play. So I think there is def definitely interest in this game and I think there's definitely passion for the, the game system that it runs on. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not following this Twitch channel, that's free. You can just click follow and hopefully it will give you a notification of when we go live. We're at, I'm looking at the follow account now, we're at 14,799 people. 14,000, almost 800 followers on Twitch, which means we're a nice 200 followers away from being 15,000, which is exciting. If you're not already following me on Twitter, I'm basically boomerang on, on Twitter all day long. Hang out in the Nihongo Gamer Discord where you can basically continue the conversation because chats just kind of die well, after like two or three sentences in streams. But if you go onto the Discord, you can meet the same people again, hang out, make those connections, talk about Japan, talk about fighting games, draw stuff, post art and all that. It's Melty Blood. I'm really excited, and the other thing about Melty Blood is I plan to continue playing Melty Blood in future streams. I don't know if it's going to be every stream, but I would like to play Melty Blood maybe... What do you guys think of maybe a Melty stream and a Guilty Gear stream? So we could do like those two streams each week. Could be, could be good. Listen, thanks everyone for hanging out, and especially thanks for chatting, keeping the conversation fun, and then also getting into Melty Blood and actually booting up the official version, the Steam version of the game, just to play with me. I appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next Nihongo Gamer video and or stream.